Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Onyi Udo. I'm so sorry for the noise, but I just I was editing this video and I noticed that I had not done a proper introduction. Please pardon the noise. On today's video, I am going to be showing you how to test your water, test the pH of your water, especially for those that are into catfish farming, um, pig farming. Or any other thing I'm also going to test um, some of these drinking waters that we take I'm going to test it to know the pH level and all of that so please watch this video to the end and so that you can see how to do all of that and see what I used to do all of that and also don't forget if this is your first time you welcome to my channel if this is your first time thank you so much for stopping my name is Oni Udoe and on this channel I talk about animal farming pig and fish especially if this is the first time coming across this channel and you like this kind of um, content please don't forget to subscribe like and share this content here I give you helpful tips good tips on how to succeed in this business in fish farming in pig farming okay but to watch my videos and um, drop your comments okay so let's just go right into today's video This is a pH tester and this is how it looks and I will explain how to use this pH tester okay so first thing to do is to dip it inside the water and take the reading that's that water you want to test for the pH you just dip it inside and take the reading I'm going to do a practical on that soon also after using this pH tester please don't fling it like don't fling it as though you are trying to like clean the water out of it you could spoil it while doing that remember to clean the pH tester to avoid calc forming inside the pH tester because it could prevent it from giving the real reading and you you will not know okay so after using this pH tester you can clean the pH tester with distilled water or you collect direct rain water not the one that you collect from your roof direct rain water okay so in the absence of pH tester, you can use this to test for your pH. This is called pH liquid test kit droppings. It has different type, okay? It has different types. So you can buy, you can buy one. But this particular one was real built from Europe, and um, I prefer. So I prefer using this kit droppings to, uh, you know, test for the pH level of my water because sometimes the pH tester might give you a wrong reading, so you won't know. So you need to have them if it's possible. You buy this pH meter and also buy this um, um, test kit droppings, okay? And also you can also have this strip test, this particular one. If there's another type, no problem. You can also have this strip test. It's not bad having all of them in your farm. Eh? It's not bad. This is how it looks, okay? When you get it, this is just how it looks. Is it like this? When you get it, you dip it inside the water for testing. Then you place it close to the container, you know, to check. This one does, doesn't only check the pH level, but the hardness of the water, the total alkalinity, you know, etc. If you, if you get it you're going to see it okay so look at the body there is there are things written on the body with color and everything okay you just put it close to it after dipping it inside water dipping this um, strip test inside water put it close to it and check the color like this one has already been used though. this one has already been used so you put it close to it and just check for the color as you can see it has everything not just pH level this one and that one so it's good to have all these things in the fan it's good to have all these things in the fan it will help you like you can just put your mouth mind on ph meter and you don't know that your ph meter is not reading correctly again so it's good to have everything let's talk about the difference or the major difference that is open like you can see between the ph meter and the liquid tense dropping okay so one is the ph meter gives the readings in number like it will just give you a number you see it's a number plus or minus while the liquid test dropping doesn't with what i've showed you the sample and everything you see that the liquid test dropping doesn't give you a number it gives you in color and from the color you can now check the number okay um for ph meter it's some um, people say it's easier to you know to read than the liquid test dropping because that one gives you a number and 
I mean, gives you in color, and um, you know, you you sometimes people find it so difficult to get the accurate color. So another one is pH meter doesn't give sign sometimes when you when it started reading wrongly, it doesn't give you sign. Now if you if you don't handle it properly, you know it can easily spoil to spoil quickly. Why the liquid test dropping doesn't expire for a very long time, not so so very long time, but a good a good amount of time. Okay. So let me just do a quick demonstration on how to use this pH tester. First thing first, you're going to on it. Be sure that it's on. So when you put it on, dip it inside the water you want to test for the pH and um, just leave it to take the reading. As you can see, this one is reading 7.3, 7.2, you know, it's reading, it's still reading. Just leave it there and be sure that it has stopped reading before you bring it out. For this particular pH tester, once you bring it out from this water, it stops reading. But there are some that once you bring it out from the water, it will show you the reading for some seconds before it goes off by itself, okay? So as you can see, it has stopped reading. It's no longer reading any, any longer. So you just take, take the reading and bring it out of the water, okay? So I'm done testing for it. And that reading is very good. When you have that kind of reading, your water is, is okay. It's good to go. So I used the rain water that I collected when it rained. And it was, it was direct, okay? I used it to clean the pH tester and it's okay. So let's now use um, this um, liquid um tests dropping okay so first thing first you have to this is the tube that you're going to pour in the water you're going to make sure it's 5 ml okay so i'm still checking to know if it's 5 ml on the dot so as it is it's more than a little bit so you just have to reduce it so this is okay now it has got into 5 ml as it is okay so get the test dropping and add four drops into the tube four drops and wait for the mixture to change so you can just shake it a little bit to make sure that everything you know mix with the water okay just shake it a little bit so as it's, it changes it will change so as it changes you need to check the reading this paper is used to check the reading okay it's used to check the reading to know the color it falls on okay if it's yellow as you can see there are different colors there and it has numbers i think from 4.5 to i think 9 so while you're shaking it you just have to like check check the color as you can see it's changing it's no longer yellow now it's changing to light green i don't even know the color of this one here yeah, something like light green okay so as it changes just check the reading with the test paper to know the color it falls on each color represents a particular number so what the changes and um, so you know the number it falls on okay the normal ph level of a fish pond is anything from 6.5 to 8.5 okay so meaning if you have anything below or above is not good for your fishes so as you can see it's changing color it's really really changing color so if you look closely you see it falls on 7.5 it falls on 7.5 meaning it is okay it's okay for your fishes if you see you have um different colors that represent different numbers from anything 4.5 7.5 to 9 so this water here for the fish pond is 7.5 meaning it is okay it is okay for your fishes okay so we're done checking we're done checking at least we've done this test for like some minutes and um, i think within within five minutes you even get or less than you will get the reading less than five minutes you get the reading so this is 7.5 this is how to test for this one okay with this particular um sarah product okay so in case you get any one other than sarah no problem okay so long as it is um test dropping so like you tell them it's test dropping so now you must, you must get this particular one so this is the color so with this the ph level is okay if you notice the ph level is almost the same thing with this one so meaning the water is still okay the water is okay the um um tester the ph tester we used 
to check initially it's almost the same thing with this one so first thing first i want to test this table water i'm not going to be showing the company name so it's not be like i'm doing bad publicity for them anyway i'm going to be pouring like five ml okay so while doing this test let me talk about what a ph is what is a ph pH, as you all know, is potential of hydrogen. That is pH. That's the word pH. So pH represents the concentration of hydrogen ions in the water. Okay, this is a figure expressing the acidity or the alkalinity of a solution. It is a measure used to determine the strength of acid and base. Like I said before, it is normal for water to have a range of between 6.5 and 8.5 on a scale okay and you can use a ph meter liquid test droppings and test strips to check for your ph why is ph important ph is important because for fish farmers when you have a high ph maybe something above 8.5 and you have high temperature it can increase the toxicity of ammonia in your pond and ammonia level is something you want to monitor routinely if you have fish okay and um, if you have a fish pond and if you have fishes okay and pH can affect that so please watch some of my videos or other videos on my channel on um, you know fish farming okay you're going to get better much much information on on fish farming if you have um, a fish pond and if you are a fish farmer okay Not yet. Hmm. It's still in six point five. Still in this one. It has not changed to this seven point zero yet. So now it's already in seven point zero. As you can see it's the same color. Exactly the same color. Let's try this first. No, it's not yet dark yet. It's light. So it's the same color. That's 7.0. Meaning this water is safe for drinking. Very, very safe for drinking. Anyway, that's the end of my test. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Give me a thumbs up. And um, don't forget, if you need my services on anything at all, um, farm consultancy, um, pig farming, fingerlings, anything at all you need my services for, please don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to reach out to me on my Facebook page my youtube page my facebook page at real when you do it i'll see you guys in my next video bye